One of the cool things about my Viewboard is the ability for students to interact using their devices. They could be on something like an iPad or a Windows laptop or a MacBook, or today we're gonna have Blake on a Chromebook. Now, in order to use the My Viewboard portal, you're gonna to need to be able to sign in to My Viewboard. So if you haven't done that yet, be sure to go back and watch the video on how to set up your account and sign in. But once you're signed in, we should see our name or our email in the top left corner. If we select that, it opens up this window. And this is simply a URL as well as a QR code that takes you to the My Viewboard portal. This is what students would use. So you can see that mine is myviewboard.com slash sharp. If you ever wanna change your My Viewboard portal name, simply go to myviewboard.com and you can edit there in your account settings. Keep in mind that this URL can be bookmarked. So it's not something that students would need to type in all the time, but you do need to be signed in in order for this to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Blake explain what the uh, student side looks like in the My View Board portal. So from the student perspective, whether I got the link from an LMS such as Google Classroom, or it was sent out using another software program, as a student, I simply go to that portal. Once I get in the portal, the first objective is to type in your name. So we type in our name and then we hit confirm. As the portal opens, you're gonna notice that the host My Board name should replicate the same as the teacher's board name. Then we have a couple different options that students can do. The first thing is screen sharing where I can simply share my screen uh, and the teacher can allow my screen to be shared. The second one is to receive the screen where I can uh, have the teacher's screen sent to my device. The other one would be a pop quiz, and then of course, polls. We'll dig a little deeper into these uh, four categories in the next few videos. Something that's important to remember is that if a student is using a device like an iPad or an Android tablet, they currently don't have the ability to utilize screen sharing through that web portal. They can still cast other ways, just not through my view board. Also keep in mind if you are using my view board for windows you'll have access to polls and quizzes but if you're using my view board on a different platform like say a macbook or an ipad or a chromebook you'll notice that you don't have the ability to do polls other than that this is a really great tool to utilize student devices and get them get all students engaged in the lesson